Hi, I'm Justine Louise. Welcome to my channel. So today I am talking about a new Charlotte Tilbury product and it is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now, I honestly don't really know what this product is. Um, I've seen her videos, I've seen her website, and I'm still a little bit confused. Um, I think it's a primer. I think it's also a radiance booster that you can put inside your foundation, as well as a highlight, or at least that's kind of what I think it is, and that's what I've been using it as. Um, I did buy this a couple of weeks ago, and I've been playing around with it. I have worn it on its own, kind of like a tinted moisturizer. I have used it mixed with foundation, and I've worn it as a primer, and I've worn it as a highlight. Um, all in all, it hasn't wowed me. I think it's a little bit greasy for me, but I just thought maybe I would show you guys today. Um, it comes in this nice, beautiful tube. Um, it's glass, has a wand. Um, I do like that it has a wand, but I don't think it's necessarily very hygienic. And I also don't know how you would get all the product out at the end. But um, I enjoy this method, but I don't think it's the most hygienic. But I don't share my products with people, so. Um, unless I declare them to mom. <laughs> um, so anyway, it's beautifully packaged as Charlotte Tilbury always is. I ordered it directly from her website. I got it, I think, in two days and she always includes samples. So I really enjoy buying from Charlotte Tilbury and for the most part, her products are hits for me. So anyway, I'm going to show you the um, product in action. So what I've done is I've done one half of my face using it as a primer and the other side of my face I've used it mixed with foundation and then I've topped the whole makeup look um, using this as a highlight. So if you're interested in seeing that, um, stay tuned, um, keep watching and at the very end I will give you my final thoughts. So anyway, without further ado, let's go. So I think what I'm going to do is one half of my face I'm going to use it as a primer and the other side of my face, I'm going to mix it with my foundation and I'm going to use it as highlight all over. So hopefully <laughs> that will work out. So I have been playing with this um, quite a bit. I still don't know how I feel about it. Um, I'm not really the best person um, to be using a Radiance product because I find I'm already so shiny that I don't really need... Um, radiance boosting items. I'm thinking this might be better for a drier skinned person, um, but she says it's for everybody. So anyway, I have been using it. Um, I don't love it and I don't hate it. I did wear it one day just alone. I wore it kind of like a tinted moisturizer and my mom said, can I just say you look really greasy and shiny? So I guess that's not good. So anyway, I'm gonna, um, I've done that as a primer, I've just done with my fingers, and I'm going to put my um, Peach Perfect Matte Foundation on top. I don't love this, it's okay, I'm just getting through the bottle, I like the smell, and that's about it. So I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Foundation Brush. I prefer using um, a beauty blender, but it's dirty, so I'm gonna use this for today. So I've just dabbed a little on my hand, and I'm just going to buff this in and I'm using this on top of the Charlotte Tilbury. It just gives a nice little bit of a glow. Like I said, I'm not crazy about this foundation. It's alright. It smells amazing. I love the smell of peach, but I know a lot of people really enjoy it, especially oily skin people, but I'm oily skin. And I don't think it's that great. I'm actually going to put a little teeny bit more just to give me a little bit more coverage. So I seem to notice that a lot of the reviews are kind of the same as mine. They're kind of not sure. It's not a hate, it's not a love, it's just a meh. Okay. So that is using it as a primer. So next, I am going to put some on my hand. I do like how it um, comes out though, although this probably isn't very hygienic because I just keep using it, wiping on my face, wiping on my hand. So it's probably not the best, but oh well. And so I put that on my hand and I'm going to mix it now with my foundation. 
Not really seeing much of a difference between the two methods. No, I kind of think they look the same. <laughs> And of course, I didn't use any primer at all on this side because I just want to use the product on its own and see how it goes. So, yeah, my opinion, I think both sides pretty much look the same. Okay, so I am going to finish my face. I'm going to use concealer and I'm actually going to stick with um, any Charlotte Tilbury products that I have so I can do a full as best as I can. I'm also going to use um, her bronze and glow and then when we get to the highlight stage I'll... Okay, so I've finished the rest of my face. Now let's try this as a little bit of highlight. So when I see her videos she just kind of adds a little bit here. I love her powder highlights by the way. I've got the bronze and glow palette. I'm using that bronzer today. I'm just kind of tapping a little bit of radiance on top. I'm not wearing any powder. I just did a little bit of powder under my eyes and that's it. I'm just kind of put some here. Just same place as you would put a normal highlighter. So I think maybe the matte foundation definitely helped tone it down a little. So I think when I wear it in future, I always make sure I wear a matte foundation. And I, I don't think wearing this alone is doing me any favors. <laughs> Just too shiny. But it's definitely not um, sitting in my crow's feet too much. It's very pretty. So anyway, let me just finish up here and I will give you my final thoughts. So, my final thoughts on the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. It's okay. Um, I wouldn't go rushing out to buy it. I definitely won't repurchase it, but I will use it um, mostly because it's too much hassle to return to Charlotte Tilbury. If it was Sephora, maybe. Um, it's okay. Uh, I, think, I think part of the problem is it's me. I am an oily skin person. I don't really need any more radiance or shine on my face. Um, and if I do, it's just um, subtle, a little bit of highlight, but all over, I think it's a little too greasy for me and my oily skin. Um, so yeah, I mean, but it, it is very nice and it does work as a nice highlight. Charlotte Tilbury always does really nice products um, as far as highlights that aren't over the top and they're more um, nice for day-to-day -day looks and for more mature skin. I don't know if we're necessarily her target market, but she definitely um, does a good job on those. So all in all, it's okay. Um, like I said, I won't be rushing out to buy it again or repurchase and I probably wouldn't be really recommending it to many people unless maybe um, dry skin people who are lacking radiance might enjoy it. Um, so anyway, that's my final thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like and if you'd like to see more beauty um, content, travel, lifestyle, things for over 40, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you keep up to date with all my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.